St. Louis. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Nick Cruz. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Now into the ball game on defense, Michael Ciani. He'll be out in left field. Number 63. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in is the speedy Bryson Stock. The second baseman. And a pitch. Bryson Stock. That one finds a corner. And we are underway in game one of the series. Hey, stay aggressive up there. Fouled off to the right. The 0 2. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And a base hit into right. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Righty delivers. In for a strike. Oh, a two now. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Slider ties him up, struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Thumbs up empty. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Siani makes the catch, and that'll do it. Philly strand one. Now the Cardinals will see what... Back here in St. Louis, and getting the start here today, Colby Allard. What do we have on him? Well, he's also a good start, getting a win in his first start of the season. And so lifted a little bit of pressure. Right here, it's all about getting win number two. Brandon Marsh leading things off and takes a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string of the changeup. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Nick Castellanos stands in now and watches strike one. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And here is Sosa to the plate. Edmundo Sosa. And first offering is fouled off. Sosa measures six feet even, 210 pounds, and he was born in Panama. On the ground to third, and that's just foul. An uncharacteristic mistake from a really good defensive player. And they'll do it again. Two outs. Good job to fight that one off. And he deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Not stopping, he's going for three. 
And this is going to be a two-out triple. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. That one finds the zone. And a count two and one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Cruz. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. So Back here in St. Louis. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. And a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Donovan on the move. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One down. Back to the top of the lineup. Bryson Stump getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One out. Base is empty. Got it by him for the play. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And now it's Alec Bohm. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And foul ball. Top of the third, no score. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Goes down looking. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And we are still. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bryce Harper. Harper. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, these Phillies, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Gets the call, and it's not again two. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. Turner leads off first with one away. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. The right fielder. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Yeah. Late swing, fouled off. Two on, one out. Double steal. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, stealing third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. All tied up, top half of inning number four. And there's a ball. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hand. And 
into swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. So so can't hold up, and that's a strike. Swing and a miss, and it's on two. Second and third, two down. Pitch misses there, and a count one and two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a 1 2. two, two. That smacked on a line to center. A dive, and he can't haul it in. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 0. Pulls into third safely with a triple. A perfect example right there. Not that bad. plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Sole runner at third, two outs. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swings and misses. And the count is 0 and 2. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Fouls it off, still 1 and 2. And that's downstairs and outside. the damage here back here at Bush Stadium new inning getting started and now for the Phillies Johan Rojas and a foul ball Rojas 23 years old and he was born in the Dominican Republic and the righty deals and now one and two Got him. One away here in the fifth. This is Bryson's stop. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Fastball for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder up there. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Rip to short. Snagged on a bounce. And very nicely done for the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, top six. Bryce Harper to the plate. Right. Harper. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. You know, these fills, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Turner in the box again, takes a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Check swing, and that's a ball. This one in the air, right field. Dives for it. Got it. Makes the play. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. Mar 
Marsh at the plate and takes high there. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. And that is cut on and missed. And the count one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. So they go quietly there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. Chop to the left side. Zips it across, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now here is Edmundo Sosa. Now fly ball to right center. Burleson snags it on the run. And now it is JT Real Muto. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, one and two count. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No play, that's an infield single. Big knock there to keep the okay. inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. Ouch, that one drilled him. And they get the out after the ricochet. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Lance Lynn. This is his third time out this year. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding